hi you're welcome to my youtube channel if you're just joining this channel for the first time my name is frances onako this is a channel where we teach can we learn chemistry yes chemistry in all aspects any problem you have about chemistry just a dm to me we we'll solve it for you you know chemistry is discussed in all ramifications and then we also discuss real life issues we give giving motivational talks and inspirational stories so if you are here you, there's no way you can live here without being enriched either educationally or inspirationally so if you're yet to subscribe please do so hit that and a red button there and then press the notification bell in the description bell please press all so that you get all the videos i send whenever i do that okay so today we are going to discuss about x y and x s chromosome you know how do we get the male child and how do we get the female child that is what we are going to discuss today so are you ready are you ready for this interesting topic i am and if you are then let's get started Welcome back. So, like I said, today we're going to discuss how the male child is produced and how the female child is produced. First of all, please, God is the one who produces children. He's the one that gives us the children that we need. He's the one that determines the sex of your child. Ultimately, yeah. But then, he already remember, remember he also gave people powers, just like he gave the priests the powers to perform miracles. He also gave opportunity, gave us opportunity to be educated, to learn, so that we can also do have power to do some certain things. So. Now, we have in human body, in a female, men, this is especially for you. Because why I decided, why this topic came to me is because of a story I have heard recently. There have been many others anyway. Along the course of the, the, this talk, I will be, they will be popping in. They will be popping, popping up, sorry. So there's this story I heard recently. A lady, uh, someone asked her about her husband that she could remember how close they were and i hope they are still that close and things like that <laughs> the woman just laughed and said that they were not together again why that he well, he gave the guy three beautiful daughters that the man was looking for a male child and because of that he went and impregnated another woman in order to get a male child Fact, the woman she still stayed back even though that happened she still stayed back we hoping that it's a male child so that probably she can take care of all of them the woman gave birth to twins female children <laughs> that was when she decided to pack her things and go you know so i can imagine the man continuing to meet other women in order to get a male child and probably keeps getting female children please we need to be educated on this and this couple they educated so even though some of us are educated, we still behave like illiterate. You know, I don't know why. Yes, we still behave like illiterate. In your secondary school, you are taught about the XX chromosome and XY chromosome. The female body contains the XX chromosome. Why the male contains the XY chromosome? Okay, there's no way a woman 
can give birth to a male child without the man injecting that Y chromosome inside her. Men, if you in, in, inject X chromosome inside your wife, she will give birth to a female child because that will be XX. If you inject Y chromosome inside your wife, she will give birth to a male child because that is XY. It's not the woman's um, place on her own to produce a male child. Men, it is you. It is you that will determine this, the, 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 the sex your child will, your wife will produce to the chromosome that you offer to her. And of course, it's not in, you're, you're not the one that will uh, carry the chromosome and give the person willingly on your own. That is where I said God has to come in. You know, you pray, pray, pray for that to happen. And God will now probably help make it to happen if it is your will, if it's his will that you will have a male child. You know. When I was when the first place I walked in after my youth service, that was a, 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 in a secondary school, after my youth service, one of my colleagues, this woman already had nine children. Because all the members of staff we are living within the compound, you know, it's a boarding school. This woman already had nine female children. Nine. Why up to nine that the husband was looking for a male child? And he said she must keep on giving birth until she gives birth to the to a male child. This woman almost died on having given birth to the tenth child. Which turned out to be a female. Again, I heard the that little child even later died, you know. And the woman is educated. Even though the husband is not that educated, and uh, these uh, these people that uh, be these businessmen, you know, but the woman is educated. Do you want to kill yourself? Because we want to please a man and then leave how many children for who to come and take care of women. Hmm? What is all this? Another another person, another couple I know, you know, this one is a, a kind of a, a family friend. You know, a kind of a, well, not uh, so close, but at least a, a family friend because I know their story well. The wife is a nurse at a, a, a matron. I will not call the name of the place. The wife is a matron at the hospital. The man, husband, is a senior officer in one of the ministries. The wife already had two girls, two beautiful girls, you know, and it, it, it took time before God gave them these children. They didn't start having given birth immediately. It took time before God gave them these children. And then now God gave you these children. It's you to be very appreciative of these children. The man was maltreating this woman. There was no way, no way, no place he would not beat this woman. He was maltreating her for not giving him a male child. This man used to look like a mad woman. Hmm? Going to one, from one place to the other, looking for a male child. And finally, when God decided to bless her with a male child, that was when the man also decided to impregnate, impregnate a side chick. The side chick gave birth to a male child. This woman also gave birth to a male child. <laughs> Can you imagine? At the same time. So the woman, God bless her heart. She had to take care of both that side chick's male child and then her own male child. I met those um, both children when we went in one of our visits to their houses. Two cute children. I not have patience with God. You know? If he had been patient, he wouldn't have gotten another child that's that male child from another person because that's going to create problem in future you know god finally placed them with a male child would have been three children two girls one boy their own children he had to go and get child from another person in the long run don't don't, don't that woman come and start and uh, money for her own child you know so i don't i, I don't understand eh? and what is it even with female children female children are wonderful some female children are even more wonderful, more resourceful than some male children. You know? 
You cannot go in front of God. I got your neck and you do. You cannot. You know? Why not be patient and beg? If it's God's will, I know it it, it is it is not natural for everyone to want to have both sexes, male and female. And the only thing we have to do is to pray to God. For God to help us. There are also some clinics that specialize in sex selection. Men, if you're that desperate, you can try that place. Those clinics. You browse, look for them. You know? At least some of them are 75, 85%. Uh, and so some of them turn out to be 75, 85%. Though it's a 50 50 chance, but some still end up um, succeeding. You know? Instead of maltreating your wife for not giving you a male child. I mean, and you're and you, and you educated. It doesn't make sense. You know? I know. Female children, Balulu. I say we, I'm a female. You're saying, you're saying I'm useless. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not useless. Most female children are not useless. It depends on how you bring them up. You know? You saw a, uh, you look, there's, there's this family I know. They have only one son and then three girls. That son turned out to be useless because he was over a pampered. Turned out to be, it was it's the three girls that are taking care of their parents now. You know, so let's stop this um, uh, vazelousness for male children. If God does not give you a male child, if you up, if after you have tried all you could, and God said it is female that we you that he will give birth to, that you give, that you have, trust God. There is a reason why He decided on that. One woman almost killed herself in the hospital. When she gave birth and it was a female child she said no 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 they should kill her why did she survive why did she survive female child again no 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 that they should kill her the husband will kill her husband said he will chase her out of the house and so on and so forth you will just stay out of the house now go along with your children your female children because of course naturally he will not want them you go along with them and, and, and start life why will you kill yourself? Because you want to please a man. No. It's not wise. It's not proper. Please. Consider your children. You know? Consider your children. So that is what I want to talk about today. Uh, ever since I heard the latest story about that lady that said the husband and you know they were very close and then they decided then a man decided to go and start uh, looking for a male child outside i now the thing this thought to give this talk came to my mind why create problems for yourself a peaceful home trust god trust god pray to god as far as it is God's will, it will happen. If it doesn't happen, no, it is not God's will. You know. Let's learn to trust God in situations that are that seem impossible for us. Nothing is impossible with God. You see that God, nothing is impossible with God. Trust Him with all your heart. Be sincere in your dealings with people. And God will surely bless you at the right time with what He feels is good for you. He cannot give you what is not good for you because he knows it is not good for you. But he will give you what is good for you. So please, men, know that you it is, it is you that we give. It is what you put inside your wife that she will bring out. Now, what thing you put inside? Now, now, now inside your wife, now she go bring out. If you put boy, your wife go bring out boy. If you put girl, your wife go bring out girl. Stop maltreating your wife because she did not give you a new child. Because your wife is not God that produces children. So that's the short talk I want to <laughs> give today. Yeah. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. My returning subscribers, you are wonderful. You are wonderful. Thank you for returning. And those that subscribed already... And even though they don't always come and return to watch, but I know one way or the other they will be they will finally watch. 
thank you so much i appreciate you and don't forget to leave your comment in the comment box if you know if you have any you know by force if you have any you leave in the comment box if you don't have move on so thanks so much for watching until next time we say bye